Dean, thanks for joining me. Uh, what's the week been like in training after a positive win at Maidenhead? Yeah, obviously good vibe around the camp. Um, I'm chomping at the bit to go again tomorrow, so boys are trying well this week. Um, a couple of injuries I'm a little bit concerned about. It was a little bit frustrating. I was hoping to get some kind of continuity, but it doesn't seem to be happening. It just seems like our place is jinxed at the minute, to be totally honest with you, and it's frustrating. We scored two well-worked goals against um, Mainhead last weekend, but almost threw it away at the end. Is that something we've been, we've been uh, looking to strengthen in, in, in uh, training this week? It's just concentration. You know, realistically, you know, the real good teams where, where we want to be, you know, they enjoy when they're 2 and up, they enjoy them. They, you know, you can sort of make it 2-3-4. Um, I'm not saying we're a real good side. We're a decent side and we've got good, um, good togetherness. Um, we've got good heart, good spirit, but we need to be a little bit better. That's sort of like I said to you last week, that's sort of like a little bit sour the victory, really. Um, the way we gave up the chance, but we won at the end of the day, so it is what it is. They missed their opportunity and, uh, and we took ours. Um, so, yeah, we've got to learn from that. We've got to improve on that. But three wins from the last four is, is, is great for, for uh, some momentum, and you must be really pleased with how, how the players are doing at the minute. From that regard, yeah, yeah. Look, certain players have done really well. Um, other players can do better. Um, like I say, there's just too many players in the treatment room at, at this moment in time, and it's been like that all season. Um, it's something we're going to change. It's definitely something we're going to change in the summer. Um, it's difficult to change it in season, but uh, that's really the most frustrating bit is getting continuity with selection um, and being able to really plan because we, we're going to now seven games in 21 days. I think it is starting tomorrow. And uh, we can't really rotate. We can only pick one game at a time, which is quite frustrating. You can't really plan for it in the, the next game. So um, we'll play the strongest team we have available to us tomorrow. And then uh, we'll see how we get on. You've already just touched on it there, but what's the squad, squad looking like for uh, for tomorrow? Yeah, it's a depleted, to be honest with you. And it's frustrating. Uh, <laughs> I've said that a few times now, but yeah, it's uh, there's too many players in the treatment room all the time. Um, so like I say, there's going to be rules changing around that. Uh, can't really do it this year. You've got to change the rules in the summer, and you know, if players have to come in seven days a week to get treatment, they'll have to come in seven days a week to get treatment. I can't have this amount of players constantly in, in the on the treatment table. It's not good enough. So we need to find a solution. Myself and the football club, we need to find a solution quick, because uh, <clears throat> yeah, we've got players that need scans. Uh, we just it's so frustrating. We've got players that need so much, and um, our resilience towards injuries has been rubbish. Uh, and that's really the most frustrating thing on a Friday before a game we've got too many players in it every week in the treatment room could, could you go into a little bit more detail about some of the players that are out obviously um, you don't want to give too much away uh, nah look listen, I don't want to go, I, I don't want to give too much away because collectively as a football club we need to make sure this stops happening you know like I'm a football manager and I want the players available for selection uh, as much as possible and here so I've never known anything like it's my 11th year in management I've never known anything like this and uh, it needs to change. Um, we've got to change it. Like I say, we can only change it in the summer. I've got plans to do that. Hopefully, the football club can support me on that, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, you've obviously just lost their manager to, to Woking, and uh, that, that, must, that must have changed things in, your, in terms of pre- preparation for this one. Um, how, how are you expecting the match to, to play out? Well, they, they like to play a diamond. They played 4 4 2 in recent weeks. They've won three on the bounce. They've got loads of pace, they've got creativity in midfield. Experience with Wilkinson at the back, who's a good organiser. A good side and Charlie Neen, who steps steps in now as manager knows the level inside out. Um, so we're still expecting a very tough game, um, and they've got a lot of good players. To be fair, you I think they've done particularly well this year. With all what's gone on sort of in the background of their football club this year, <coughs> and full credit to Sally, who's a personal friend of mine. I wish him well in his new job down at Woking. Full credit to him. He's decided to make a move for whatever reason. That's down to him, um, and he joins a good football club in Woking. So um, yeah, and Charlie Lee gets an opportunity now to see if he can be a manager. When these opportunities come around and you've been a coach or the next player I just come out from finishing playing the game, you've got to grab them with both hands. So I'm expecting them to have a good drive tomorrow. And if they play like anything they've played in the last three games, it's going to be a very tough game. What are you expecting from the, uh, from the players in terms of their work ethic? Everything we've given last weekend, uh, same again. Um, and really from 95% of my reign, they've give, you know all they've walked their socks off. So we need to make sure we, we keep to them standards. Um, like I said, I think we can manage the game. In-game management can be better, especially when you're 2 nil up, like we were last week. Um, we could have won the, won the game much more comfortable. Um, but it's difficult when you've got so many players injured all the time. Uh, 
you know, it's it's so difficult to be able to plan and uh, and really that's the that's probably the most frustrating thing we've had this year is, is consistency and continuity. What I would say, what what has happened this year, we've given the football club some stability, which is it's been crying out for. And um, we've given that over the last twenty games or so. So um, that's a big tick in our box. But now we've got to be able to make that jump forward and uh, and see can we be competitive and get towards the top ten in this division. Um, and that that can only happen when you've got every player fit and not constantly in and out with injuries. Um, and then obviously yeah, the recovery of the players, how they get the, uh, how they do recovery, how their uh, injuries are treated, that needs to improve. So there's loads of different things that need to improve at the football club. But, that's a key part of it because we want players available for selection. And, and just a special mention to, to Efron and, and, and Beardy who have been out uh, representing England C this week. How, how pleased are you for them? Delighted for them. Obviously, the result for them was, was poor. I watched the game. Um, and realistically, it, was, it wasn't a great performance by them. Wales sort of dominated physically and ran on top of them. Um, but look, they should be proud of themselves and their family should be proud of them as well. It's always great to represent your country. It doesn't happen often, so uh, they should be proud of that. Um, I just uh, I, look, I believe Beardy can perform better than what I see on the day I'll be totally honest with you um, he's a better player than what he's shown in that and everyone off the bench and needs to make a bigger impact in my opinion because he's a better player than what he showed on the day as well So, but they should be proud of their achievements playing for England see. and just have you got a message for the uh, for, for the Bees fans for tomorrow yeah um, yeah let's hopefully we can, you can get right behind us and give us a major boost uh, towards which is a big game for us in our sort of mini division we want to try to catch you over um, they're a few points ahead of us and that's sort of our aim is to sort of, sort of leapfrog uh, clubs that are above us so get right behind the lads and hopefully we can give you something to sing about.